So let's just start by playing a clip from one of your episodes. Bzzz. Now they say that the sting of the tarantula hawk is number two on the insect sting pain index. It's like being stunned with a taser, and they say it puts you into a state of paralysis for up to five minutes, where all you can do is scream. I'm Coyote Peterson, and I'm about to enter the sting zone with the tarantula hawk. Go for it. One, two, here we go, three. Ah! Ah! Okay. So, question one. So, why did you decide to um, get yourself stung by the tarantula hawk and, and the velvet ant and the bullet ant? Ooh, the famous question. Why do I get stung by these creepy crawlies? Well, um, the reason that I do it is so that we can all learn about the animals. Now, I could just catch one of these bugs and put it in a container and we could get cool shots of it and I could give you some facts and I could tell you that they have a very, very powerful sting that hurts really bad. But at the end of the day, you would probably say, well, how bad is it really? Does it really hurt that bad? And then people would write in and ask, well, why don't you get stung by Because that's what we'd really like to see. So we figured that if I'm getting stung by these animals, not only is it causing you to be interested in them and learn about them, but I'm also able to show you the effects of that venom on your body, ultimately resulting in you seeing how painful it is. And then hopefully if you're out there in the wild and you see some of these animals, you won't go try to pick them up or catch them yourselves. And so... Why did you get yourself eaten alive by leeches? Oh, the leeches one. <laughs> well, actually, I've always kind of been a little bit afraid of leeches because whenever I go into swamps and ponds, like, you know, sometimes they'll be stuck on turtles and sometimes they'll get even stuck on me. And I try to pull them off really fast because I was afraid that they would, would suck blood. Then I did a little bit of research, and as it turns out, not all leeches actually consume human blood. In fact, most species of freshwater leeches that are here in the United States do not suck blood. So we did that test to prove that some leeches do and some leeches don't. And what was interesting about that is that when those leeches adhered to my arm, they have these little suction cup mouths and they actually secrete what's called an anticoagulant, which causes you to bleed more, and also a numbing agent, which causes you to not be able to feel the fact that they're biting you. So I didn't feel anything at all when they were drinking my blood. And then of course, because of that anticoagulant, when I took the leeches off, that went into my arm and that's why I was bleeding so much after the fact. 